In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys the best tips to level up really fast in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 4. We actually got a ton of nerfs this season, and it's going to be a lot harder to level up. However, every single season I make a XP guide showing you guys the best ways to level up, because I know you guys are definitely trying to hit level 100 as fast as possible so you can unlock the brand new Spider-Gwen outfit. Now if you do go on to enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. With all that being said, let's get straight into it. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the most obvious way to level up, which is the challenges. So we have these kickstart quests, and basically these are going to give you 35,000 XP for each one you do, which is actually quite a lot. That's a lot more than we usually get for the first set of challenges, and they're all really easy. As you can see, we have outlast opponents, play matches, eliminate opponents, damage with assault rifles. You can get these done just by playing the game. So some very easy quests to do there. And then the dailies really haven't changed, same thing as normal, you get 1000 XP for each daily quest you do, and then you get the 15,000 XP bonus school. For the weeklies, we have a minor change, it went from 45,000 XP for the bonus schools to 50,000, and 20,000 XP for the actual quest from 15,000. So we got a little bit of a buff here to the weekly quest, which is nice to see. And then for the milestone quest, as you can see, we're getting 20,000 for each bonus school and 6,000 per quest. Now if you want some tips for getting these milestone quests done easy, catch items while fishing. Basically only do that when you have a harpoon gun. If you can find one of those, go ahead and do that. For complete bounties, you don't even have to actually finish the bounty. Just go ahead and start it and then somebody else can get the elimination and then you get the point for it. Hitting weak points with a harvesting tool, gain shields, eliminate opponents, all that stuff is pretty easy. I mean you literally just do what it says to do. For purchasing items from a vending machine, the easiest way to do this is to go up to a vending machine that's selling some sort of ammo, whether it be AR, shotgun, or SMG. I believe shotgun is the cheapest ammo to buy out of a vending machine because it's only 4 gold, and you're basically just going to keep buying that, and you'll be able to get through this challenge so fast. Thanking the bus driver, you're going to want to go ahead and thank that every single game you load into, just make sure not to forget. And then for spending bars, believe it or not, they actually let the bars go over into this season that you had from last season. So you might load into this season with 5,000 bars, and you can go ahead and just spend those really fast. I know I loaded in with over 3,000 bars, so I'm going to go ahead later and spend all of those bars. Now we're also probably going to be getting another set of storyline challenges, so this is something they've been doing the past few seasons. In Chapter 3 Season 2 we got the Resistance challenges, and in Chapter 3 Season 3 we got the Vibin challenges. So I think this season we'll probably get a set of challenges called Paradise or something like that, and it'll end up being these story mode challenges, which are really good for XP as well. I definitely recommend you guys get those done. Now let's talk about where XP's changed a lot. So we did get an in-game XP nerf. So last season the XP was really bad at the beginning of the season. So everybody complained and Fortnite actually made it to where you had buffed XP in-game by getting more XP through the accolades. They actually reversed that this season so you're not getting a ton of XP. I actually got a 10 elimination win today and this is the amount of XP I got. So as you can see I got 106,000 XP through quest and 11,500 through combat. So as you can see, the XP is pretty terrible. I spent a lot of time looting this game as well. So playing in game is definitely not the way to go. 11,500 XP for a 20 minute game is not very good. Normally the best way to rank up in Fortnite is the imposters mode, but sadly at the end of the season, they remove the imposters mode, making it a lot harder to level up this season. So the best way to level up this season, in my opinion, is in creative mode. Creative mode actually gives out an insane amount of XP, and this is my favorite map to play. This map is called The Pit. I'll put the code up on screen, but you can actually get up to 2,500 XP per elimination and 10,000 XP per headshot. Now, if you don't know how creative XP works, basically you get a lot of XP to start, and then it slowly goes down over time because they don't want you abusing creative XP through glitches and stuff like that. A lot of people don't know that, and that's why the XP glitches and stuff like that are so popular, but yeah, it actually goes down over time to stop those glitches from working. However, the pit is still a really good map, and even if you get the XP down to a really low amount, like say you're getting 500 per elimination, you're still going to level up way faster in that than playing in-game. This is definitely the fastest way to level up so far this season in my opinion, and if you want to, you can actually have somebody load in with you and take turns getting headshots on each other, getting about 10,000 XP per headshot at first. Now one method I wouldn't recommend people doing, even though it's worked in past seasons, are loot paths. So this is basically where you make a path that you like to loot on and get as much XP as fast as possible, then back out of the game and keep doing it over and over again. But the problem is that because Fortnite has lowered the XP so much, it's really not worth it at this point. You're just going to rank up really slow, so I definitely would not recommend that. 
Now, if you're wondering what rewards you get for hitting the max level this season, at level 100, you're going to unlock Spider Gwen, which is a really cool skin. I know a lot of people are really excited to unlock that. That's probably why you're watching this video, because you want to get level 100 as fast as possible. And then we also have some bonus rewards for some of the other skins in the game. You can actually get Spider Gwen's mask off, which is really cool. And then we also have these super level edit styles, which will be unlocked in 18 days. They basically make it to where it's locked because they don't want somebody to unlock the super level edit styles on the first day of the season. But yeah, I expect these to be really cool. I expect we'll probably end up getting some sort of chrome themed bonus reward. I'd be shocked if we didn't. And another thing we ought to talk about is the battle pass level. So there's actually a myth in the Fortnite community that you need to wait later to buy the battle pass levels. And the reason people think that is because that used to be the way it is. But Fortnite actually changed it to where every single level you need 80,000 XP. So you can buy these whenever you want now. Whether it's the beginning of the battle pass or the end of the battle pass. It's not going to change much at all. But if you're able to wait till the end of the season when the challenge pack comes out, you're getting a way better deal on that because that's only 1,200 V-Bucks and you get 28 levels. Whereas with this, you're getting 25 levels for 1,850. Not to mention the fact that the challenge pack comes with a skin. And if you're going to buy tiers, you always want to get a bundle because as you can see, it gets way more expensive if you go ahead and buy them this way. You always want to go ahead and get a bundle because... Because for 1800 if you buy them this way, you're only getting 12 levels. Whereas the other way, you get 25 for 1850 So you're obviously getting a way better deal. Now, another thing to remember is that the Fortnite season just came out. So if you're struggling with XP, I definitely wouldn't panic. Because Fortnite always makes the XP really slow to start the season. The reason they do this is because they want to keep players on as long as possible. And a lot of people are going to get level 100 in a few days and just quit if they made it to where the XP was high really early. So they basically end up buffing the XP later, and they just do that to keep more players on the game. Another really important tip is if you ever see Fortnite do a power leveling weekend, this is something they rarely do, but every once in a while they will, you need to hop on and try to get all of that XP because it's going to help your account a lot. Supercharged XP is significantly faster XP than just normal XP. In my opinion, the best way to level up in Fortnite is to start with doing the daily challenges because you have to get those done the fastest, and then do the weekly challenges, and then do the paradise quest. And then once you have all those challenges done, I would grind out the pit until you run out of XP and then play like normal. You can always go after the milestone challenges whenever you do decide to play normal modes. And that is definitely the fastest way to level up in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. If you did go on to enjoy this video, make sure you smack that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And go ahead and click one of the videos on screen. In the last video, I did 20 skins that are never returning to Fortnite. And you won't believe some of the skins that are on that list. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.